Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday's art lesson. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's and you're ready to go again for today. So this is what we're getting up to today. We're going to think about what Quentin Blake's style of illustration is like again. I wonder if you can remember any of it from yesterday. Then we're going to look at some different characters throughout Roald Dahl's books because Quentin Blake is the main illustrator for him. Then we're going to guess the book character game, which is a nice one. We're going to think about all of those characters that we know and love. Can we guess them just from looking at a picture of them? And then you guys are going to get your drawing brains on again, which is fab. And there is a video alongside Quentin Blake that we're going to watch. So we're going to pause it and we're going to draw our very own version of Willy Wonka, which I'm really excited for. So you're going to need all of those bits again. You're not going to need any lined paper today, just blank paper. So you might need to pause me now so that you can go and get some. Okie dokie, right. So um, we're going to be brilliant artists again today. And we get, today we're going to be looking at the illustration work of Quentin Blake. Let me just move myself out of the way. Um, and he has many Roald Dahl characters. And he helps them to come to life, such as Charlie Bucket from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, George, who made a marvellous medicine, the Twits and the Witches. There's also the BFG on there and Fantastic Mix to Fox as well. Okie doke. So uh, we're going to just recap that unique style of drawing again. Um, so remember, he uses those jagged, rough lines in his drawings. They've done, they look like they've been done very quickly. They're quite scruffy, but actually they do take a really long time. And he's going to talk to us a little bit more about that over the week of how he does them. And he always starts with the face. And as you can see on Mr. Fa Fantastic Mr. Fox there, he's got, they normally start with a nose, which is quite long and pointy. And that's exactly the case for Fantastic Mr. Fox. There's not loads of detail on the face. He hasn't made loads of detail on Mr. Fox's fur, for example. I can just see a few whiskers on his nose, but there's not loads of detail. And spiky lines are used for hair, and you can see that on Mr. Fox's body. And he's got long, thin, up, thin arms and long, thin legs. And again, you can see that on the body. Okay, so that's his unique style of drawing. Quite rough, jagged edges, okay, but really making sure that those characters come to life. Right, so um, we're going to be focusing on characters of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory today. And there's loads of different people that Charlie meets when he's in the factory with his granddad. Now, I hope that you have seen at least the film, but hopefully you've read the book as well. And I want you to try and name the characters on your whiteboard. So you're going to get your whiteboard and pen for me now. Okay, if you've got it then, the first one is on the whiteboard. So who is this character here? They're holding their golden ticket. They're quite a large boy, okay? And he looks like he could be a little bit silly. So who is this character? Don't worry too much about the spelling, but have you seen this character before? If you have, can you write their name on your whiteboard, please? Off you go. Okay, right, let's see if you were right. Yes, well done, it is Augustus Gloop. And he's the one who ends up in the chocolate waterfall and then gets sucked up the pipe. So that's no good, he's a bit silly. He was very greedy, Augustus Gloop, which is why he is looking a little bit chubby. And he's so happy to be in there with all of that chocolate that he ends up falling into the river and getting sucked up the pipe. And he goes to the chocolate factory with his mum and Quentin Blake has drawn them both in his style very well. Lots of jagged edges. Okay. Started again with their pointy noses and then their round heads around that. No neck on either of them. That's really important for Quentin Blake. He doesn't really draw a neck. Right. So this is the next one. So I wonder if you can remember her name. She liked to chew bubblegum. Okay, and something happens to her where she ends up turning into a blueberry. Can any of you remember her name? If not, don't worry. But if you can, can you pop her name on your whiteboard, please? 
Right, let's see how you got on. Well done. It is. It's Violet Beauregard as a blueberry. And in that picture there, Quentin Blake has drawn the Oompa Loompas. That's who they are. Um, he's drawn the Oompa Loompas rolling her away. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I put an extra picture on this one as a clue, which was the squirrels. So here's a little girl. She's got a very fancy dress on, very fancy shoes. She's got a little hat on and she's holding her golden ticket. Um, she, she's one of the girl characters from the story of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And she is the one that ends up being told that she is a bad nut. So I wonder if any of you can remember her name. She's a fancy character who's very spoilt. And Quentin Blake's drawn her with her fancy dress, fancy shoes, and she's got lovely curly hair, but actually she's not a very nice person. So if you can remember her name, pop it on your whiteboard for me. Well done if you've got Veruca Salt. She is that mean girl. She's very rich, but she's actually not a very nice person. So well done if you've got Veruca Salt as that one. Oh, okay, right. This one is one of those characters that loves to watch TV. And actually, it ends up, his last name is TV. That's a big clue. And he ends up actually in the TV. So I wonder if any of you can remember who this character is. And Quentin Blake has drawn him brilliantly. He seems to have loads of weapons. I can only imagine that those are on him. And he seems to be watching some violent TV where people seem to be shooting each other. So that's not very nice. He doesn't seem like a very nice person. He loves to play lots of video games. So I wonder if you can remember who he is. Write his name on your whiteboard for me. Off you go. Well done if you've got his Mike TV. He is, he's Mike TV and he's absolutely obsessed with watching TV and playing video games. Right, here is one of our main characters. Okay, and we're gonna look a little bit more at him today. So have a think about who this could possibly be. He's got a long hat. He's got a purple tail coat and he's got those green long trousers on. Who is he? He's got a little special cane as well. Who is this man? One of those important men in the story. So write his name on your whiteboard for me. Well done if you got that he's Willy Wonka and we are going to be drawing Willy Wonka alongside Quentin Blake in just a second. Oh, I told you that I told you who this was earlier, but they look completely different from the film version of themselves. So this is how Quentin Blake imagined them. OK, um, who are these people I'd like to write them down on your whiteboard? They look very happy, very a little bit silly with that spiky up hair. So I wonder if that gives you any clues. Who are these people? Yes, they are the Oompa Loompas. Well done. They do look very different from the film version. Um, because in the film, I think they're orange. But actually, Quentin Blake didn't imagine them orange. He imagined them like little miniature dolls. And who are these people? So there's lots and lots of people. These are This is the Bucket family. Um, who is actually in the Bucket family? I wonder if any of you can name any of them. Okay. So who is this? I'll give you a big clue. They all, all of them stay in bed all day, all night. My goodness, they don't move. Well done. It is. It's Charlie and his grandparents. And I forgot to say his parents are there as well. Mr. And Mrs. Bucket. Okie dokie. Right. So um, we're going to need to get our pen pencil even, not pen, pencil and paper ready now because we've met all the main characters of the story. We're going to learn how to draw one of them and we're going to draw Willy Wonka and Quentin Blake is going to do a step-by-step -step drawing for us. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to pause it alongside Quentin Blake to do the best drawing we possibly can. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the screen now and go and get your piece of paper and your pencil ready. Off you go. Right, everyone, so I've got the video ready for you now, how to draw Willy Wonka with Quentin Blake. And I'm gonna pause the video and you're gonna pause your own video and we're gonna draw it alongside one another. Okay, so let's listen really carefully and let's watch how Quentin Blake does his drawings. Live viewers all over the world. Welcome, I'm Quentin Blake. I've illustrated all Royal Dolls books except one. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about it 
show you some of the drawings that I've done. And do some more drawing as well. There's all these characters. I wonder if you can spot any of the ones that you know. It's got its own portfolio. And it's, it's rather strange, actually, because I wasn't the first person to illustrate Charge of the Chocolate Factory. It first came out 50 years ago. Mm, and it was 25 years different. later when I came to do my set of illustrations for it. This is the, the first, one of the first drawings of Charlie. It doesn't look, it's got to look a little bit different later. But as you draw people, you feel you come to know them so that they're your own version of them. There we are. These are my first drawings. There's the, his, his mother. And um, uh, there are the, 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 the grandparents in bed. And so I do lots and lots of drawings beforehand, trying to decide what people look like, what the drawings are going to be. Now I'm going to see if I can remember how to draw Willy Wonka. I've drawn him hundreds of times, I think, but I haven't drawn him recently. So we'll see what it looks like. Now I always start quite near the top with the face. Very okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pause our video in just a second. Here's a nose for a start. Then he's got a little smile, and he's got a little beard like that. Now then, what's nice about drawing a ring for the eye? So it might be good now if you pause your own video, okay, get your piece of paper ready and remember Quentin Blake starts with the nose, so you need to draw a nice big hook nose, then go in a little bit, okay, and draw his little smile and then draw a little pointy beard and then draw his eye, okay, so I want you to pause now and we're going to draw it step by step to make it nice and easy so that we can all have a lovely successful art lesson. So I'd love it if you could pause me now and draw the nose, the mouth, a little pointy beard and a little circle for his eye. Don't go any further. We're going to do this all together. Okay, so pause me now. Off you go. Right, how's everyone get on? I hope you all did a super job. Let's see what we've got to get up to next. You can show him looking in one direction or the other so you can be looking forward to it. Up, back, and then we know he's got a top hat. Quite a tall top hat, I think. Band around it. Now, I give him a collar that sticks up like that, and then hair that sticks out the back in that rather messy sort of way. It doesn't say in the book what kind of a tie he wears, but I remember thinking it would be very nice if he wore a bow tie. And I made it rather a big one. Like that. Okay, so we're going to pause it again now, and this is what I want you to do next. So you need to now draw Willy Wonka's top hat, okay? And then you just need to do four lines at the back of his head, which is his spiky hair. Then you need to draw a tiny, and I really do mean tiny, neck underneath where you put his beard. And what you'll see is Quentin Blake has done a little square, which is the middle of his bow tie. Then you need to draw two sides of the bow tie, Okay, and that's where we're up to now. So your job for me is to do the bow tie, the hat, and the four spikes of hair at the back of Willy Wonka's head. Okay, don't forget to draw a little tiny neck, and that's what the bow tie is going to connect up to. Okay, off you go. Well done, you're doing a super job so far. Off you go. Okay, right, let's get going again then. So hopefully yours looks like that so far. Spots. Oh, nice! He's going to decorate you it with like some to spots. I like do that in colour later on if you want to do it. So there we've got. So we know where he is now. We can see him, and he's looking round. So compare that one to your one. Hopefully yours looks similar. And then it comes on to his costume, and we know that he wears a swallowtail coat. I think he must have a waistcoat as well. 
Okay, we're gonna pause again here. So coming down from your bow tie, you need to do two long lines. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rewind it so that we can have another look at that again. So here are the two um, the two long lines. That's one set, and that's the other. And this is gonna make part of his coat and his waistcoat. Okay, so we're going to pause that now and I'd like you to do those bits to start off his body because he's wearing a little coat and he's got a little waistcoat on underneath. Okay, so pause me again here and I'd like you to try and do his coat and his waistcoat just as much as he's got on the screen so far. Okay, off you go. Right, well done if you've done those bits already and we're going to get cracking again. So he's just adding some details on now. So he's drawn one of his arms and he's bent it. And he's got, it does tell us in the book he's got, pale grey gloves, plum coloured velvet coat. And the thing about that is that it's a swallowtail coat which means he's got these long coattails. Okay, so nice, again, actually, we're going to pause it just here. So what you need to do is from the bow tie, you need to draw his pointy arm and his glove. Okay, now then you need to draw the coat, which remember goes underneath the arm. So all Quentin Blake has done, and you'll see it here, is he's drawn one little line connecting up the bow tie to the arm. Okay. Then he's brought the tails of the coat, because it's a coat with tails, which means that they poke out. He's brought them to the point up one there and then goes back in and then one there and then goes back in again. So I want you to pause me now again and see if you can do the coat and the arm and don't forget his little glove. OK, off you go. Well done. Right, let's see what we've got to do next. Flap about. And as he's somebody who was always jumping. So check, does yours look around. like this? Well done if it that does. It's rather nice. So you can sort of, it suggests that he's moving. And then. Now we're going to get on with the legs. The nice rough lines for the legs. And I think he's, he's on well done. Again. Ah, so again, we've got one bent leg and one straight leg. So there he is. And he, he has. I seem to remember he has shoes with spats like that that cover them a bit. So it's sort of like a little heel. So we've got him moving. Okay, we're going to just pause it again then. I want you to draw the legs now. So remember, one long leg, nice and thin, jagged lines, and that one's a straight one. And then you need to sort of do half a leg and then have a little part pointing out, okay, to the right. And then that's, that leg is behind the other leg. So have a good look at how Quentin Blake has done it, okay, and see if you can copy it as closely as you can. So you want one straight leg, one bent leg. Then once you've done the legs, you need to draw the little pointy shoes, okay? They look a little bit like ballet shoes, is the only way how I can describe them for you. So you do a little, you do a little semicircle uh, for the feet and then you draw two little pointy parts on there, okay? So see if you can give that a go for me. Now he's nearly finished, so well done. You're doing a super job. So pause me here and you draw the legs and the feet for me. Off you go. Right, how did you guys get on with that one? I'm sure you've done a super job. So I'm gonna, we're gonna press play again and see what we've got to do next. Along. And then, of course, he has his other arm. Comes how are we gonna do his other arm now? Yeah. Maybe a bit shorter than the other one, never mind. Um, draw the other little arm. So he needs to draw his other hand. And this time his hand looks a little bit different. He's got this And he's got his long walking cane, walking cane in his hand. With gold top. Mm. So if you want to come on later to doing the drawings, to, to colouring in the drawings, then that, that you've got gold there and there. Um, this is plum coloured. These trousers are bottle green. And the tie is whatever you like to make it. 
There we go then. So I'm just going to roll it back slightly so that we can do our last part of the drawing, which is his lovely arm. And you need to have his walking cane. And Mr. Quentin Blake has very kindly told us the colours. So if you want to colour this in afterwards, after you've drawn your arm and the walking cane, okay, he's got a black top hat. He's got green trousers and he's got a purple, a plum colour purple waistcoat and um, coat over the top of it as well. And he said you can do the bow tie whichever colour you like. So that is all of that one finished for us. I'm just going to see if there's anything else we need to do. So let's just double check this one again. I think, you know, that is everything. So let's just see Oh, what we're doing tomorrow. So it says tomorrow we're going to be reading some of the exciting extracts from different Roald Dahl books and drawing illustrations to match. That sounds lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and you had a really good go at drawing Mr. Willy Wonka. I'd love to see them on tapestry. So I can't wait to look at them a little bit later on. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.